What if the world's deadliest predators weren't lions or sharks, but spiders hiding right beside you? I'm talking about tiny predators whose bite can pack a serious punch, today. We're counting down five of the most dangerous spiders on the planet, you might be surprised by. Who makes the list, and who doesn't? First up, from down under, the Sydney funnel web spider. Found in Eastern Australia, this isn't your average garden spider, it's a fast, aggressive ground dweller. When it feels threatened, it rears up, showing off its impressive fangs. Its venom is a powerful neurotoxin that attacks the nervous system. Leading to symptoms like breathing trouble and muscle spasms, the good news? A highly effective antivenom was developed in the 1980s, and since then, fatalities have become incredibly rare, as long as medical help is sought quickly. Next. We travel to Central and South America to meet the Brazilian wandering spider, true to its name. This spider doesn't build webs to catch prey. Instead, it wanders the forest floor at night, and sometimes, right into human homes, its bite is notoriously painful. The venom is another potent neurotoxin that can cause intense pain, nausea, and in some cases, severe breathing problems, like the funnel web. There is an antivenom available in Brazil, which is crucial for treating serious bites. So if you're ever in its territory, it's a good idea to check your shoes before putting them on, now for a name you probably recognize, the Black Widow. These spiders are found worldwide in temperate regions. From North America to Australia, they love dark, sheltered spots like woodpiles, sheds, and basements. Only the female is considered dangerous. Her venom is a neurotoxin that causes a condition called latrodectism, characterized by severe muscle pain, cramping, and sweating. While it sounds terrifying, bites are rarely fatal to healthy adults, and antivenom is available for severe cases. Still, you wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Coming in at number 4 is the brown recluse, a resident of the central and southern United States. This spider is notoriously shy and, as its name suggests, reclusive. Bites usually happen by accident, like when a spider is trapped against the skin and clothing or bedding. Unlike the others, its venom is cytotoxic, meaning it can destroy tissue. A bite can sometimes lead to a necrotic lesion a wound that can grow and take a long time to heal. In very rare, severe cases, it can cause more systemic problems. There isn't a widely used antivenom, so medical care focuses on managing the wound and symptoms. Finally, we have a true master of disguise, the six-eyed sand spider. Living in the deserts of Southern Africa and parts of South America, this spider buries itself in the sand, becoming nearly invisible as it waits for prey. Bites to humans are extremely rare because of its remote habitat and reclusive nature, However, its venom is considered one of the most potent. It contains a powerful enzyme that causes severe local tissue destruction and can also damage blood cells and organs. Because bites are so uncommon, there is no antivenom available, making any encounter a serious situation. So, how do you stay safe? It's simple, really. First, never handle a spider you can't identify. Second, be cautious when reaching into dark, undisturbed places think firewood stacks, old boxes, or garden sheds. Always wear gloves. If a bite does happen, and you can safely do so, try to snap a photo of the spider for identification. Most importantly, seek medical attention immediately for any suspicious bite, especially if you experience worsening pain, difficulty breathing, or other strange symptoms. Remember, Spiders are a vital part of our ecosystem, and most are harmless, by being aware and cautious. We can coexist safely. Thanks for watching, if you found this video fascinating, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more content about the amazing natural world, stay curious, and stay safe out there, see you in the next one.